think I want to talk about fear. Like, um, I don't know if it's necessarily fear that controls my life, you know? It's like a feeling that's adjacent to fear. Um, it's like a, 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 a vicious storm, right? Whose torrential downpour is threatening to flood me. Um, and the more effort that I put in bailing it out, the harder the rain gets. Um, I guess like, I guess the word would be like threatening. Like I'm threatening myself, uh, keeping like a, a, a fire under me. And so I keep moving forward. Cause I, you know, like I can't go back. Um, like I was so sad. And the only thing that gives me anything is moving forward. Like I'm only happy when I'm torturing myself. You know? That doesn't seem healthy or correct, but it's what I feel like I have to do. Everything else I've tried is just been me having breakdowns every day and now I can just hold on to this one good thing that I have this knowing that I can I can go forward you know and I, I don't want to go back but it feels like I'm getting sucked into a vortex, you know? And I know that a part of me is always trapped there. So maybe it's like running away. Like I'm I'm running away from myself. I don't know, because I look at myself in the past, and, and a lot of people have this visceral cringe, because it's natural. When you look back at yourself and who you used to be, you know what you were feeling, and you feel differently now, and so there's this sort of... Um, this, this cringe that comes with it. And I don't cringe when I look at my previous self. I know that I was being the best I can be. And I'm not apologetic. I am apologetic. All I want to do is apologize. All the time. Because I, I really... I really didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I was the the only way I felt like I could survive was by making myself into myself. And eventually I it happened. And now I'm me, but me feels like a shell of this sort of idea of a person that I wanted to be, who I was pretending to be, that I became. And then there's this other me that was so afraid of everything. And now I don't feel fear at all. I jump forward every chance I get 
I don't hold myself back and I don't hide inside my home, but I, that's what I did for my whole life. I was a shut-in for basically 18 years. I had agoraphobia and I couldn't leave the house. And Now I work some retail job, talk to strangers all day, and then I don't know. I I don't. I feel like um, I feel like I'm not the same person that I once was. And maybe that's the fear. Is that one day I will go back to being this person that I don't necessarily despise, but. I pity because I know how I know how they felt sitting there in the closet I know that they didn't feel good and that all that they could do was seek these comforts that would stop them from panicking And I've been there, man. I fucking, I've been there. And I just feel so bad that they had to go through that. Even if it's me. Maybe I'm just too detached. Because it doesn't feel like me. I don't... I relate, but I don't relate like it was me. I relate like it was a scared child that I'm trying to comfort. Those are my thoughts on fear. Um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.